Hello ladies and gentlemen, it's Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we have some news about Unity. Now truthfully, this isn't going to impact a ton of people, and it sounds a little bit worse than it is, but it's also kind of a negative against Unity when you're trying to decide if this is the right game engine for you to start with, and that is that going forward you are going to need Unity Pro to publish on consoles. Now we're going to get into some of the details of why that isn't a huge deal, except mostly for Xbox developers, uh, but this news broke over on Gamma Sutra. I will link this article in the linked article down below. But basically, back in June, Unity quietly updated its licensing policy that required developers working on closed platforms. That is a, a term that is getting weirder because we have cloud platforms and so on. But that includes things like Xbox, PlayStation, Switch, and Stadia to use the um, either a Unity Pro license or be in a preferred platform license key to develop for these platforms. Now that is um, something that comes from being a certified developer with Sony or Nintendo at this point in time, uh, but not necessarily for Xbox and possibly Stadia and other platforms out there. So again, if you are in a preferred platform license key program with Nintendo or Sony, this isn't going to impact you. But if you are looking to develop for the Xbox, it could get quite a bit more expensive for you because you now need to use Pro. Uh, so this was delivered internally to the Unity game developers on the Unity Game Core uh, forum, which I do believe is for Xbox developers under an NDA. Uh, so it is not a public forum uh, for Unity developers there. Uh, Unity confirmed that this is the case. They say that developing for consoles is a complex undertaking for any studio and Unity has always recommended Unity Pro for development on these platforms. So what we have now done is change the word recommended to required. Now that isn't for everybody though. So you're gonna see here, this change is for new developers working on new platform approved projects that update to the 2021.2 tech stream. So if you're using a pre-existing version of Unity, you are on the old license. It is only going to be new versions going forward, but it's also going to lock you out from being able to upgrade if you happen to fall into the Venn diagram of people impacted by this change. So if your game is currently in development on an older version of Unity, you do not need Unity Pro at this time. Now again, I think at this time becomes if you want to upgrade to the newest and greatest, that changes things. So a handful of developers reached out to Gamasutra with concerns about this change because while Sony and Nintendo both make preferred platform license keys available to developers, Microsoft does not. Uh, so previously, if a developer had XD, um, XDX, the Xbox uh, development kit, uh, on their computer, it apparently unlocked all Unity features for use on Xbox. That's not going to be the case anymore. You are now going to need a pro license. Um, the policy renders that moot means a new developer working on an approved game for Xbox will need to pay a Unity Pro license at $1,800 per seat. So uh, if you're, say, making less than $200,000 a year and developing for the Xbox, uh, you're now going to have a bit more of an upfront cost. So let's say you've got uh, 10 developers working, that's 18 grand out of pocket. That's that's pretty big, not huge. Again, the, the number of people impacted by this is a pretty small Venn diagram. It's Unity developers working on Xbox or other closed platforms that don't have keys provided to them. Um, and yeah, so that's not a huge number of people, but it is also now, if you're thinking about what platform to develop for, well, this condition doesn't exist on, uh, say, um, Unreal Engine or the Godot game engine or whatever. So there is still a negative aspect of this. Uh, Microsoft said they know about it. They're not going to change anything. Now, interestingly enough, Microsoft is kind of moving in a different direction with this uh, in that they're making their development kits a little bit more open with the intention of opening up the process of developing for the Xbox. So this move from Unity's side, I don't know if it's in response to the move from Microsoft's side, but it's not really that um, simpatico with that change. So it's interesting there. I'll get back to what I was talking about in just a second there. That was some news broke earlier this month. Um, so Unity changes uh, aren't exactly sweeping since many developers working on the platform already pay for Unity Pro or have access to a preferred license key. Uh, some people didn't even know that this happened. So again, it is a fairly small Venn diagram of people impacted here. Um, those most impacted are projects who are not approved yet or are interested in shipping their game for the Xbox or any other platform that does not provide the preferred license keys and you do not have the cash for Unity Pro. Uh, it, but I think the biggest impact is more people like thinking about launching on the platforms because basically you can think of it going forward from 2021 version and on, if you want to develop for consoles or deploy to consoles, you now need to get a pro license. So you don't get that whole, my first game hasn't shipped yet, I haven't made any money yet uh, kind of break there. So previously you could use a, um, a, a 
uh, what are they called? Well, we'll get to the licensing in a second. But there were a couple of licenses available to you. As long as you'd made less than $200,000, you could develop for uh, the Xbox without any issues. Uh, so that's kind of it. We'll see what happens uh, going forward. Now, I do have to point something out. Uh, so at Gamma Sutra, and I notice, okay, that looks kind of crappy. And so I look at it, and they're... Their logo is really low res. I, I don't know what's going on there, Gama Sutra, but it looks really bad. All right, so off that tangent, uh, as I was talking about earlier on, Microsoft uh, released their game development kit on GitHub. I copy, I covered this news, uh, what was that, about two weeks ago now. Now, this isn't everything. This isn't the rendering kit. This is not the um, GDKX. This is for things like... Um, leaderboards, achievements, um, selling on the store, that kind of stuff. And you can now have access to this stuff and they intend to open things up more. We will continue to take steps, making more of Xbox game development um, more open. And this is just an early step. So if you wanted to work with live services, have access to their demos, play fab and so on, you could do so. So it's kind of funny. Microsoft are moving towards making Xbox development more open and then Unity are charging. <laughs> for it. So uh, it'd be interesting to see where that all goes. Uh, now, I mentioned earlier on, there are plans out there. Uh, the personal plan limits you to 100k in the last year. The plus plan limits you to 200k. So what people are getting hooped here are basically the people that are currently in the plus category who want to use the most current version, who want to develop for the Xbox and don't want to pay $1,800 per seat. So uh, again, it's a fairly small community, but this is going to be one of those things when you are just you know clean slate. I'm trying to pick out a game engine and you've got right now these various different choices. And one of the choices just got a little bit worse. Now it's not huge. This is not you know a game breaking thing, but it is definitely a bit of a money grab where there wasn't one before. And it sort of makes you wonder if this might be part of it. Is Unity uh, in September of this year went public. That means they are now a publicly traded company. That means they now um, have to publicly report their earnings. They need to make money to keep shareholders happy or they need to at least show growth to keep shareholders happy. And so what you're gonna start seeing from them potentially is just grabbing little bits and pieces of money here and there where they can, trying to grab and monetize more and more stuff. And the question is, is this one of those moves? Is this a side effect of Unity being a public company and needing to maximize profits. And again, you have a competitor in the form of Unreal Engine who are making things cheaper, freer, adding more features and so on. You can't be seen on the other end, nickel and diming out little features off the opposite side. It's very bad optics in my opinion, especially for people that are trying to decide today, you know, in 2021, which technology do I want to work with? Again, this impacts a very small percentage of the community and it's probably more optics than otherwise, but the flip side is how much more money are they going to make from this change? And is it worth the negativity that they may invoke? Interesting to see, to see. It's again, one of those things about going public. You gotta start making more money to keep the investors happy. And this is the kind of stuff that potentially happens. So let me know what you think. In a lot of ways, this is mostly a non-story to 99% of you, uh, but I'd be interested to hear, are you in that 1% that's impacted? Were you developing for the Xbox and suddenly have to fork out $1,800 a seat to start developing uh, for that console? Or are you, you know, either PlayStation, Xbox, or um, either already using Pro or using one of the preferred key system setups? Let me know, comments down below, and I will talk to you all later. Goodbye.